about one year ago, one of the most popular custom miniature websites, Hero Forge, started allowing folks to download their own minis for home 3D printing. And here we are one year later. The real question, is it worth the cost and are the results worth it? Let's find out. Hey everyone, Danny, 3D Printing DM here. Welcome to 3D Printed Tabletop, a channel where we cover all things 3D printing for your tabletop games. For several years now, Hero Forge has been allowing people to make their custom miniatures, much like a video game creator, and they were manufacturing those miniatures and sending them out to people for a fee. But one year ago, they started to sell the STL files, which is the 3D models, and allow you to 3D print these from your own home printer. The cost for downloading your mini is $10 for each model that you download. I've personally printed a lot of Hero Forge minis myself. I've bought from them before, and I will be sharing a lot of these prints throughout this video today. I'll also be sharing prints from other people in the community, so you can see not only my results, but results from other people. So you can see the, the various different types of quality and what good paint jobs and what uh, amateur paint jobs look like. And just wanna say, this is not a paid review. Hero Forge gave me two digital downloads, but honestly, I'd already had my own and I had other minis that were for my friends that I needed to print for them. I tried difficult, challenging prints that I felt would push the limits of Hero Forge to see whether we could do it and what it would look like. So the real question, and I'm not gonna skirt around it, is considering there are free characters like the ones Miguel Zavala has made, and considering there are websites like Desktop Hero 3D, which allow a similar service for free, is it worth the $10 per mini? The answer is, it depends. Depends on your expectations, it depends on your printer, and it depends on your skill level as a 3D printer yourself. So here are a few things to consider before you buy and download your first Hero Forge Mini. Depending on what 3D printer you're printing on and your skills as a 3D printer, quality of your Hero Forge Mini will probably vary. It isn't enough just to buy a good printer and then try to print a mini on it. Sometimes it will take tweaking of settings, troubleshooting, various attempts, different orientations, things like this, different support settings, until you get a result that you're happy with. Hero Forge has a handy little guide on their website that will show you some examples of different Hero Forge minis printed on different 3D printers. But my recommendation is to download their test files, the Explorer and the Paladin, and print them yourselves. They make excellent stress tests because they're difficult prints and you can get an idea of the quality you'll get because if you can print those more than likely you'll get an idea of what type of quality you can expect if you download your own second point is to consider whether you're printing on an fdm printer or a resin printer the truth is that these models have a level of detail that's better suited for resin printers. But that doesn't mean that you can't print these on your FDM printer. In fact, a lot of the prints I'm showing you were printed on FDM printers. As always, FDM prints will definitely have more artifact even with the cleanup, but you still might be surprised at the quality that you are able to get from an FDM print. The best example I've seen of that is my friend Pete's Explorer, fully painted, so you can see an equal comparison between a $2,000 machine, the Form Labs, and a $200 machine. Same user, same finish, and same paint job. At the end of the day, the only person who's gonna be able to tell whether you're comfortable with either an FTM or a resin print is going to be you. The third thing is that you are always going to need supports. Regardless of whether you're printing on a resin or an FDM printer, you're gonna need supports. And I know that kind of seems obvious for those of us who've been printing for a long time, but a lot of people don't like supports and it's for good reason because they can make cleanup really difficult, makes breaks something that happens more often, happens to me all the time, and Hero Forge Minis are no exception to that. So expect various levels of cleanup depending on the model, depending on the orientation, and expect, again, chance of print failure because that's always a reality when you're talking about uh, supports in this type of model. In some cases, I didn't care if maybe a little bit of the cloth broke off, I didn't think it was noticeable. And in some cases, like my resin, maybe some of the hammer didn't print. I still went ahead and went with it because it just didn't bother me personally. That is not up to some people's standards and that's okay. Uh, like I said, it's up to you to decide whether you want to reprint it or not, or just glue it or just deal with it being broken for whatever reason. Um, but that is something to consider when you think about the realities of working with this type of print once again. The fourth point, 
and this might not be as obvious, but sometimes when you want such a custom character, you might be making it a very difficult print whether you realize it or not. And this isn't to discourage you, because for me personally, the challenge of getting a good print and getting that satisfying uh, cleanup and seeing this perfect model at the end is definitely part of the allure of it and part of the fun of the process. But for some people, it's not. And some kinds of poses are just gonna be easier than others. And some types of gear is gonna be easier than others. And some are just gonna be harder. So as an example, it's the same for certain details like the teeth in this guy's mouth or his daggers, right? And these pieces are so small that it was just very difficult to get right in both resin and FDM prints. I could have dropped this to maybe 0 0.02 millimeter layer height, which, which is fine. That would have given me more detail, but you see what I mean about having to work with this and see and, and understand the nuances of this? It's just not always so simple. It's not always as easy as you might think. And sometimes to have those little details, it's gonna take a little bit of extra work to get the print the way you want it. So last question is, why Hero Forge versus the free options? If you are gonna pay for it, why? So Hero Forge's customization is frankly the best available for this type of service right now. The assets, the poses are all very high quality and they all work really well together. They also have mounts, which means custom motorcycle minis for you know games like Gaslands or just pretty cool princess Mononoke moments in your RPGs. And uh, Hero Forge minis definitely have a very specific style, which for some people they might love it and other people they might not like it. Um, but it's to the point where, you know, once you see a couple, you can see them and instantly recognize that that's a Hero Forge mini. All things considered, I think Hero Forge is a really good option for people who maybe want to print a custom player character or maybe a really big bad evil boss that you can't find a specific mini you need for. And I definitely think it's worth it in those cases. I felt like it was worth it when I bought mine but I wouldn't buy too many as that $10 can add up really quickly. So I probably wouldn't use this for townsfolk or regular monsters or regular characters or side NPCs that just were only gonna be in the game for one or two sessions. I'd probably look for something on Thingiverse or maybe look through Miguel's uh, NPC or PC collection before going in that direction. And even though those files aren't custom, you'd be surprised a lot of them still have a really good level of detail that will be more than enough for your game. So if you're interested in giving a Hero Forge Mini a shot, check out my video on how to get a resin-like quality print from even a $200 FDM printer. If you have questions or wanna share your prints as well, come join our community on Facebook and Reddit, uh, description below. We would absolutely love to have you there. Thanks again for watching, happy printing and happy gaming.